Hey guys, it's Friday the 13th. Welcome back to my uh, review videos. I'm gonna do my uh, March Ipsy. Came in the mail today and it just made my whole day complete. So um, I'm gonna do a quick little summary of what I got. I already peeked inside, I just couldn't resist. So we'll get right into it. First thing though on the card, I realize this is your standard Ipsy girls that are always on here. Is she new? This one, what's her name? Christian Dominique, she looks kind of new to me. I don't know. Anyways, we are in the month of March. I can't believe it that it's already the middle of March. Um, it, it was 85 here today. It's going to be mid-90s this week. I'm in Arizona, so I might like lay out by the pool, maybe work on my tan. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys are getting some warmer weather, especially on the East Coast. So let's dive right in. I will stop talking. So here is my bag. It's very, very, very light this month, like very light. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be an amazing bag. Uh, this is what it looks like this month. It's cute. There's some fluorescent colors in there. I think I want a swimsuit or something like this. Um, it's cute. All right. So first product that I did get, and I feel like everyone did get something like this uh, from NYX. It's the Butter Lipstick. And it's kind of tricky to open. Ugh, there we go. And it melted a tad in my mailbox. Again, it's 85 here. So I got this color. It's just like purpley color, um, magenta color. And it is hunk is the shade. Now it actually, it looks super dark on here, but on when I swatch it, it's really not that bad. Um, I'm gonna put a little on my lips. I already had a little bit on, but just so you can see what it looks like. It's very creamy, very smooth. I don't think this will be very long wearing um, because of the fact that it's very creamy and very smooth, but I, um, I do like it. It doesn't have any taste, any scent to it at all. And it's that pretty color. So that is, will definitely go in my bag. It's, um, I think it'll be pretty with just like very light eyes and just like if you want a little pop on your lips. Um, the next thing that I got was from Dr. Brandt. I have received Dr. Brandt in my birch box before, like the, the pore mask where it's supposed to take out all the gunk from your pores or blackheads or the blackhead extractor. It's the grossest name ever, but I got the, anti-aging mattifying lotion and it says that it is for oily combination skin i'm more just kind of dry normal um but i'll definitely try it out i don't know exactly what this mattifying lotion is supposed to do but it looks like this rubs in really nice it's i mean it doesn't feel it's a light consistency it's not very a thick lotion it has a really nice scent to it. You know what though? Like now that I smell it, it's like a mixture of peppermint and desitin. I don't know if you guys have little kids, but if you do, I'm sure you put desitin when they have diaper rash. It's kind of what it smells like. It's not bad, but it's just, I don't know. So anyways, um, it, it does feel very smooth and very nice. We'll see how it is on the face though. Um, Dr. Brandt always though, if see, like I'm looking in the light, it's literally filled to here. I mean, really, you couldn't fill it to the top, but okay. I'm not going to complain. The next thing that I got, and I feel like everyone got this too, is from Peerlease or something in the Peerlease brand there. Um, it is the gentle soy milk cleanser and makeup remover. So it gently washes away dirt and makeup, even mascara. They specifically say even mascara, and it says all skin types. We'll see, because a lot of uh, things claim that they will take mascara off. Um, the ritual, damp, use on damp skin and rinse lightly with warm water and follow with purely serums and moisturizers. Uh, leave skin, plant, uh, sorry, leave skin pure and clean without stripping of oils, white tea oil calms and soothes, and blue lotus extracts, extract leaves, skin soft, supple, and silky. Let me see if I can get a scent. Ah, oh. uh, there is a scent, but I don't 
don't know why it reminds me of church. Like when you walk in a church, what it smells like. I don't know. I don't know. Am I weird today? <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I'll try it out for sure. And this, I can't tell in the light, but it feels pretty full. So thank you, Pure Leaves, for filling your sample. And then um, I got this from It's Vintage by Jessica Lambrickskind. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. It's an illuminating face, face, face highlighter in crystal pink. And it's kind of interesting because it's like, if I could open this, seriously, I already opened it. So I know it's not impossible. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's interesting because it's like this pink, like blush color. I'm going to swatch it and then I'm going to do a little on my cheek. So we'll see. I have like this lotion. Okay. That's okay. All right. All right. So let's do a good swatch here. Oh, it's really pretty. It's this really pretty pinky color. Um, if you can see it right there, I, that's going to be a really pretty highlight. I mean, you could do that on the cheekbones here or even just on the eyelid for an all over light color. That's really pretty. So let's do a little sample here. Let's see. On the nose the chin and around the face. Very pretty. I have to look in a mirror. <laughs> I'm just going off my camera here, but it looks really pretty, like catches the light nicely. So I'm excited to try that out. I love face highlighters, so that's exciting. And this, I had seen other people got this and I really wanted to try it, but this is, because my It Cosmetic, which is a awesome concealer, by the way, if you're looking for one, it was all, it's all gone. So I've been looking for another concealer and this is the Boo Boo Cover Up. And it doesn't have a color on it. Yes, yeah, it says Made in Canada. So it's a Made in Canada. And let's kind of get a feel for it here. It's a little bit dark. This might be too dark for me. Maybe in the summer it'll be a good color, but we'll see. So it's this darker color. It's actually very smooth. It's not a really thick formula, which can kind of look cakey on the eyes sometimes. I'm going to try and do a little spot treatment here. So this is with it without. It's nice. I like it. Um, I'll have to play with it a little bit more, but I think it'll be good. And this will last a while. Concealer, you just need a dot. It goes a long way. So that was my bag this month. So I got the NYX Butter and Butter Lipstick and Hunk. I got the Boo Boo Cream. I got the Vintage. And then Dr. Brandt, Halfway Filled. And then the Pure Lee. So I'm most excited about the Vintage and the concealer. Um, overall, I think it was a good bag. Ipsy's always fun because it's just a little good surprise in the middle of the month. Anyways, I will put the link below for Ipsy. Um, let me know what you guys got. I love feedback on what you guys got. And I hope everyone has a great Friday the 13th and a great weekend. And um, yeah, definitely thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see more. But I'll talk to everyone soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.